What does it take to be fully determined and fully into your energy of ambition and persistence? Well, that's what we're going to be exploring on today's video. I'm Everett Curdy, and we're going to be looking at Saturn and Capricorn. So Saturn and Capricorn in the natal birth chart is a very fortunate position. And I have a whole other video where I explain what Saturn means in astrology, and I'll be sure to link that below in the description so that you can see that video so that you can fully understand what Saturn is all about. Because a lot of what Saturn is about moves over to Saturn and Capricorn. And it really makes a lot of sense when you put Saturn and Capricorn together. And there's a lot of similarities of this um, birth chart placement. So the very first thing you need to know if you have Saturn and Capricorn is that you're very goal oriented. You have a goal that you want to achieve and you're very focused on your career um, and achieving goals for your career. Um, and so you're also incredibly grounded when it comes to approaching a task. You know, you're very practical. You're pragmatic about it. Um, when it comes to achieving something, you can set your sights on something that you feel that you want to accomplish, and you can really go at it with full-on effort and focus. So when it comes to approaching a task, you are very practical about that task. And so you have a lot of commitment and dedication towards your goals. Um, this can be um, in the sense of career or relationship or whatever area of life that this makes sense for you. Um, and you want to establish long-term goals, not short-term goals. But just like a building is not built to last only a couple of days, but it's meant to last for a good long while. And so establishing long-term goals is um, going to be super important. What sort of systems and structures um, are going to be um, for the long term? They're going to hold weight and they're going to carry a lot of water um, and hold a lot of that in for the long term. So that becomes important. You're also very persistent when it comes to your goals and what you want to achieve, where you're keeping at it, where you're not giving up, where you're continuing to push yourself and put in the time and the energy and the effort into um, the goals that you want to achieve. And it takes a lot for you to want to give up because when you have a goal that you want to achieve, you're really um, going at it with a lot of focus and determination. So if you have this placement, you're also very authoritative. Um, you can really take charge of any situation to be the authority figure. Um, and you may also have um, kind of a an interesting relationship with authority figures in your life, particularly um, father figures, um, particularly the relationship with your father can be strenuous or there can be a strain to that relationship. Um, maybe, you know, a possibility could be where the father challenged you or limited you or tested, um, you know, your authority. Um, maybe it can be you who is the authority 
and um, you know can pull up your slaves and be the leader because Capricorn's a cardinal sign and cardinal signs all around indicate I'm going to take the initiative I'm going to take the lead I'm going to take the reins of this circumstance so that can be um, definitely um, a huge possibility here where um you don't want to sit by the sidelines. You want to um, take control of the circumstance that you're in. Um, and so you can be a father figure in your own life. Um, and you are someone who wants to enforce the rules and the standards and the status quo and what has to be achieved from all of this rubble that you have to make it into something that you have to turn this rubble into something solid and into something that is um, good um, for the long term. So um, you can be sort of, you know, the authoritarian um, or the person who gives um, orders and um, rules and restrictions in your own life. Um, and so you can be firm uh, as well. So firm or stern about what you want and your rules and expectations. Um, there can also be um, a workaholic tendency where you're not stopping until all the things are checked off the list, all the work is done, and you may overwork yourself. You may carry on too many responsibilities and work yourself to the absolute point of exhaustion um, and do it so much that um, it becomes very difficult to find space where you're just enjoying your life and you know, where you are so consumed with your work and the goals that have to be achieved that you take time out of your schedule for work that is more than the time that you spend to live life. And so it's important to allow for that time to make space, um, you know, for living and being in the moment and having healthy relationships and, you know, enjoying the pleasures of life and relaxing. Um, so all those things become um, very, you know, important things to balance in with, um, you know, your work and um, the goals that you achieve. So making time for the people in your life, making time and space for the activities, that nourish and nurture you and that bring you peace and contentment and that also make you feel grounded and make you feel whole um you know whatever it may be it may be a spiritual practice like walking or you know meditating or something or just um taking a break from your work to just enjoy something and to stop and um, you know, read something or um, stare at a sunset. Something that you can do that can balance out your work life and that can, you know, where you're putting aside the phone and putting aside work and your obligations to make time for you and make time for um, family, friends, and um, the things that you want to do, you want to do that are enjoyable for you beyond just the work. So you can also be pessimistic, not the most optimistic person in the room. So this may be not seeing the full possibilities and potentials of things, but it may be possibly just looking at all the flaws 
and getting so caught up in all of those flaws. And so what happened with pessimism is that it can be very, very easy to get caught in the negatives, to get caught in what is not working and what's not good about a particular situation. And what it can look like is all the trellises on the table are not where they should be. They're not organized. So you need to put order to them, make them into something with some sort of system and structure. Um, and pessimism can also look like getting so caught up in the negatives of a situation um, that you're losing sight of what is positive. And you may be um, overly cautious or you're not you know, willing to take a risk because what's life without um, risk taking and living and taking chances um, and making mistakes and going at something with full intensity and realizing that you fell on your face the night before. So that becomes something important to think about that you're not being cautious to the point where you're not willing to take a chance on something. And so you wanna leave a mark on the world. You're very concerned about your legacy of all the hard work that you put in, of all that you have achieved um, in your life. And you value your legacy of um, what you're going to do for yourself that is going to remind people that you were significant, you were important, you did something great, you did something amazing, and you put in a lot of hard work into it. So thinking about the mark that you leave on the world is going to be important for you because it's all about your legacy. It's all about what you achieve if you have Saturn and Capricorn. So thinking about um, the messages that you're spending to others, are you a role model? Um, and what are you teaching other people through your efforts? And it's important to be steady and focused and disciplined and to not give up and to put in that effort to inspire and remind others to do the same thing and to have goals and to see them through to fruition and completion and to actually manifest those goals in the physical. Um, and so you can get up the mountain like nobody's business because Capricorn is symbolized by the mountain goat um, where um, the mountain goat is... Um, slowly and steadily um, climbing up the mountain, um, one foot in front of the other until it reaches the top, not giving up, but slowly and steadily making progress towards your goal, one foot in front of the other, continuing to progress through that goal until you arrive at the peak of the mountain and look back and feel that all of that hard work was truly worth it in the end. And so it's true that if you have this placement, no task is too challenging or demanding that you can achieve any task that you can turn any idea into a reality, that no challenge is too great for you, that you can um, pull up your bootstraps and put in the hard work and, um, you know, get that task done. And so you're very up for the hard work that things involve. And you also believe in results. What does it mean if it doesn't exist? It has to exist. It has to be physical form, something that I can taste 
and touch and smell, hear, see. Um, you know, what are the results? What is going to come out of all the hard work that I'm going to do? And what's really worth putting in the hard work? And what isn't worth putting in the hard work? What is going to be all for naught where I'm going to do something and put in so much hard work and time and effort into something and it's not going to um, account or, you know, or amount to anything? Um, what if you put hard work into something and then the results come out of it are with the idea that you manifested into physical form? So um, results become super duper important. Um, so doing something and taking action, not just talking about it, not just thinking about it, but doing it. Because it's the actions that you take that speak louder than the words that you say. And whether or not you decide to do something about those ideas is up to you. But you value um, doing something about the ideas that you have, making, you know, being productive, being practical, actually bringing something into physical form and um, and making room for something new in physical form that you create, you know, using your two hands. Um, and that becomes the focus is the actions that you take in your life and whether or not you take action. So um, you have ideas that you can bring down into reality. So you're also very ambitious if you have this placement. Um, and so there is um, joy, a satisfaction when it comes to take on, taking on challenges, which see how far you can go, which test who you are and how you can rise above those challenges. And it really is a test of um, building of character through um, taking on challenges to see um, how far you can go and to make you um, better, smarter, wiser, and also more mature in a spiritual context um, when it comes to taking on these challenges. So you're very disciplined, um, you know, saying no to something in order to say yes to something else, and very... Um, you know, self-controlled, where you're, you know, going on a particular path and you're trying to achieve a, a certain task and you're saying no to not indulging in this activity over here and you're disciplined in achieving your goals, whatever it may be. It may be a diet or it may be um, a project of some kind, but um, having a strong sense of discipline is going to be super important for you in your life, um, where that discipline um, through continuing to keep at something and continuing to push through and put in that hard work um, in that kind of way is going to be something that truly matters to you. Um, and so you're also very patient. You understand that things take time. Things don't um, happen overnight. But, um, you know, it takes a lot of hard work and it takes time for that hard work to amount to the final product. And it's about the journey. It's about the process, not only the single destination. Rome wasn't built in a day, and you understand that at a great and profound level. So um, being patient um, and understanding the value of delayed gratification, um, that's going to be a huge thing for you. Um, and so you're truly in it for the long haul. 
um, and for the what is going to come out to be in the long run. You know, I'm suffering now so that I can enjoy myself later. Um, I'm putting in the hard work so that um, it means something profound later on. And so you desire structure, you know, rigid routine, um, where um, it adds meaning and value to your day. And it also is a productive use of when you're bored, you know, you develop a structure. So structure is going to be important. Being productive is also important. Um, and so developing and establishing material security is also something that, um, you know, that's going to matter to you, you know, financial security, if you have enough food or enough, you know, money, those kind of things like that. Um, yeah, so security in that sense is important. You may be the backbone of your family, you know, taking charge of um, your family and really being, um, you know, the leader of, you know, your clan or family, um, because that's also something that really comes to mind here. Um, and so when it comes to relationship, you're very loyal and devoted. Um, you, you know, say something and you can make it happen. Um, you're very dependable and reliable to the people that matter to you, um, that you're, you know, committed and dedicated to them, and you have a lot of integrity with whatever you do for them, um, that, um, you know, they matter so much to you that you're not going to give it up or, you know, betray them or anything like that, but that you're going to be loyal. Um, and so, you know, the downside of this placement is sacrificing um, your relationship to your career. So making sure that you're establishing a balance between your career and your goals and also um, your relationships um, with the people in your life. Um, and so the question that you really should ask yourself is what allows you to fulfill your potential? Is it, you know, what beliefs or structures um, or plans allow me to fulfill my potential and what I was destined to be and what I feel that I need to um, become um, or stretch into? And so, You may have a lot of heavy lifting um, that you may do in responsibility on your shoulders. You may feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You may take on too many responsibilities, too much work. So that becomes um, something to watch out for. Um, so you want to be self-sufficient. You want to be independent. You want to, you know, take care of yourself and go on your own path and achieve your own goals on your own. And so you prefer to do things independently. You may age backwards. You may be um, old when you're young. And as you grow older, you start to relax and enjoy life more and a lot of space for many great things and opportunities to, you know, to come to you and to knock on your door um, where, you know, you're taking advantage of them and you're just making space for more fun and pleasure in your life. And so you may also respect um, tradition and the way that things have always, um, the way that things have always been done um, and you don't, it, so radical new ideas and innovations and those kind of things may not be something that you are comfortable with and that you're not, you know, familiar or in agreement with, but it's important to be open to new 
ideas and new ways of doing things um, and not getting so caught up in this is the way that things have always been done so I'm going to keep on doing this uh, because there is this need for uh, people with displacement to follow the rules to um, you know to go along with the status quo and to not want to break the rules you know and if it ain't broke don't fix it um, however the more you can be open to new ways of doing things um, the better off your life will be um, so that is something to definitely remember and keep in your back pocket so the next thing is history you know understanding how the significance of events that have happened in the past affect the now and having a deep respect for elders and and um and systems and structures that have been in place for a long time and um the past um and so it's important to have awareness to when you do what is socially acceptable rather than what is the right thing to do. So don't do something because this is, um, you know, the, you know, what is acceptable in that scale of life, but also what is right like what is truly the right thing to do um and so you're very conservative if you if you have displacement you're also very um mature um for your age um you may be super young and you may be very mature um now downsides if you have displacement is in your relationships you may be distant or, or cold or you know detached um it could be that you may lack warmth and you know emotional nourishing energy and you may be um unempathetic um to you know the people in your life because saturn is a cold energy it's not necessarily um, a warm energy like the moon is about emotional, you know, emotions and feelings and intuition and taking care of others and mothering others and being there for them and tapping into your emotions and the emotions of others. So it's important to um, be mindful of when you are, uh, when you find yourself cutting off emotionally from the needs and wants of others and from the feelings of others making sure to validate not only your feelings but also other people's feelings and knowing that feelings do matter and it is a sign of maturity when you can be vulnerable when you can truly feel your feelings and respond to them rather than react to them um in a mature way that you're not denying them or pushing them down like they don't matter that's sort of the middle middle phase between reacting to your emotions and responding to them um so it's important to not shove them down under the carpet like they don't matter but it is important for you to tap into the opposite sign of cancer, which is you're taking care of yourself, your emotional needs. You're building those emotional foundations. Um, and you're also being sympathetic and, um, and you know, showing a softer form of love with um, the people in your world. You know, you can build all these structures you can do these physical acts of kindness for people but what about um how you're connecting with them on an emotional level how are you and you know connecting um emotionally with the people in your life and so if you've been neglecting feelings 
and um, those kind of nourishing relationships with people, it's a good idea to bring that into balance and um, talk about feelings and to bond with somebody emotionally. So um, that can be a downside because emotions are not weakness. You're actually very strong when you can feel the emotions and be vulnerable and also be tender to others as well. Um, and so you may be one of the last people that others go to when they're having a tough time because of that coldness, because of that um, detachment um, when it comes to just not necessarily being the most emotionally open. Um, and so the downside also with this placement is all work and no play. Again, not making time for um, fun activities or emotionally nourishing activities. So when you get into work mode and, and you know, when you're being a workaholic and you're, you know, working so hard and so long, it's going to be important to bring that into balance with play and not um, having the work and your goals trump um, what you do for pleasure and um, what you do to enjoy yourself in your life. Um, and so there may be an insecurity that you feel with your social status. Um, you may um, want to be the top one and, you know, live at the penthouse and have all the, you know, the riches and the treasures and everything. And so when it comes to people that are higher above you, there's an insecurity here about um, you may not feel adequate enough or you feel like there is a competition between you and other people who are achieving their goals and getting out into the world and doing all these kind of things like that. Um, so it's important to count your blessings and to look at how far you've come and how much you've achieved already and feeling the satisfaction that comes with that, you know, just to stop and, you know, to take a breath and look how far you've come and look what you've done already um, and how far you've gotten already rather than feeling like you're not enough and you haven't reached your goal yet and you still have a lot of you know hard work to do so um and you may put a lot of pressure on yourself to achieve your goals and it may be so much pressure maybe being kind to yourself validating your feelings um, nurturing yourself and loving yourself and not being so self-critical and so hard on yourself when it comes to um, your goals and that you um, feel that you haven't achieved those goals. And so um being hard on yourself is something to be aware of. Um, that, you know, you may have extremely high standards for, you know, that you haven't worked enough or, you, you know, that you um, haven't done enough or, or, you know, whatever. And it's important to be, you know, accepting yourself and loving yourself for, you um, you know, the beautiful being that you are and you just being and taking up space and having the desire and having the discipline and what you've done already, you know, that that is enough in and of itself. And so when you can ease off on being, you know, self-critical or so demanding of yourself and so hard on yourself, can you love yourself for um, 
you know, who you are and what you've done already. So it's important to also allow other people to help you, that you don't have to carry out your goals and do all this, all those things yourself. So allowing other people to pitch in and help you is going to be important. Um, and so while you can work so hard and have so much discipline and all those things like that, um, yes, it's important to not give up and achieve your goals, but it is equally as important to live your life, feel your feelings, and emotionally bond with yourself and others in those kind of profound and significant and meaningful ways. So that's all that I have to say on Saturn in the sign of Capricorn and the natal birth chart. I really hope that you um, found a lot of value and um, enjoyment from this video. And if you did, please remember to like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And share this with somebody whom you think would also find meaning in the information that I shared with you today. So until next time, bye for now.